As you know, the Council of Europe and the European Union share the same values, human rights, the rule of law and uh, democracy. And uh, the Council of Europe in particular has developed a number of standards that translate these values into the practice of, of citizens. So based on those shared values, the Council of Europe and the European Union have developed together uh, with the Eastern Partnership countries, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Moldova, Ukraine and Belarus, this program which is at the same time regional and country specific in a number of areas. So they, they, they translate the Council of Europe standards uh, and, the, and the commitment that the countries have made into the practice of a cooperation program. This program is called Partnership for Good Governance because this is what it is about. It is about good governance in a number of thematic areas. Uh, the program exists since 2014 and has, is being implemented in uh, two subsequent phases. Um, the areas of intervention that the program is focusing on are Council of Europe added value areas, areas of expertise of the Council of Europe. Uh, in particular, uh, we talk about the fields of justice, of uh, the fight against corruption and combating discrimination. Um, the Partnership for Good Governance fits both into the framework of Council of Europe action plans with the countries of the region and also of the EU uh, 2020 Deliverables Eastern Partnership Strategy. Um, the program has been evaluated recently and the evaluators uh, concluded that it was highly relevant, very well targeted and very well implemented. So we're very happy about that. So PGG2, so the second phase, has been built on the results of the first phase. This is the first important thing to know. So these two subsequent programs, but results were achieved, progress was made, so we can now go even further. This is important. The PGG2 comprises 15 different country-specific actions, which are implemented in the Eastern Partnership countries in the areas of uh, Reform, justice reform, fighting uh, economic crime and anti-discrimination. What is very important for us is that we apply always a human rights-based approach, that there is an important transversal dimension of gender mainstreaming, so gender is a very important aspect, and also that everything we do contributes to the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Um, so these are not things that stand on their own. They fit into a, in, into a number of other uh, into a number of other programs or objectives and contribute also therefore to effective multilateralism. Um, the working method is based on um, helping member states to better implement the or non-member states also the recommendations of the monitoring bodies of the organisation. These look and to, to what extent member states actually are able to guarantee the rights to their citizens that they have committed to. Such uh, recommendations exist in such areas as economic crime, money laundering, terror combating terrorism, but also combating violence against women and domestic violence or trafficking or, anti -discrimina or discrimination. We also work together uh, very closely with the Venice Commission of the Council of Europe, which um, helps member states to become more performing, in, better performing in the areas of uh, constitutional rights, constitutional law and elections. And also the CEPEJ, the European Commission of Efficiency Through Justice, which um, helps member states and others with court management and with improving the efficiency and the impartiality of justice. Yes, I would also like to say that PGG is sort of a both a country specific and a regional program. That's very important because each country has its specificities and we have to really address them directly and as efficiently as we can. But at the same time, the regional activities allow the whole region to move forward and also to establish best practice networks, to learn from each other, and so on. So this is very important. Um, and the, uh, yes, with regard, sorry, with regard to achievements, uh, the most important dimension of the achievements is that the trust of citizens into the state and into the judiciary, for example, has 
is improved, is increased. This is what we are working for and this is what the first phase of PGG was quite successful in. Um, with regard to specific results, Georgia, for example, has, as the first country in the region, ratified the Convention on Combating Viol Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence, the so-called Istanbul Convention, and other countries, Armenia, Moldova and Ukraine, have signed it uh, and are in the process of uh, doing the necessary homework with the help of the PGG to also be able to ratify, to improve their legislation accordingly. Laws on strengthening standards with regard to uh, preventing uh, financing of terrorism have been adopted in nearly all the Eastern Partnership countries, all Council of Europe member states anyway, in the Eastern Partnership. Um, with the help of CEPEJ, we contribute to better court management on a day-to-day -day basis in, for example, Moldova, with through a number of pilot courts, and this work is then sort of uh, disseminated throughout the country. Uh, we have also worked with the ombudsperson institutions of the Eastern Partnership countries in order to improve their capacity, make them stronger, make them, uh, uh, make them more effective. Uh, especially in the fight against uh, discrimination. This was partially possible through the uh, expert coordination mechanism, which allows us in the context of this program to ask for legal opinions very quickly according to the needs of member states.